Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. And talk about a race that stopped the nation with Aussie Peter Bowl just missing out on a medal in the men's 800 metres final. And didn't the media love his heartwarming backstory? Bowl, who fled Sudan before spending four years in a refugee camp. He was born in the Sudan, fled the civil war at the age of four, ended up in an Egyptian refugee camp. He spent four years in a refugee camp. And the newspapers lapped it up too, with the Daily Mail and the West Australian both highlighting his time in a refugee camp. But guess what? It wasn't true. As Bowl wrote in the West, we never lived in a refugee camp. Instead, his family emigrated from Sudan to Egypt when I was four, and it was our home for four years. Whoops! Check your facts before quoting the Wikipedia page. But now to another race, and let's cross to the Minister for Car Parks, Alan Tudge. Thanks very much, everyone. Cheers, there's a man in a hurry to get away. This was a fund in your program under your remit as minister. You put taxpayers' money into coalition held seats. Yep, he can't run and he can't hide from Nine's Jonathan Kersley. Was this deliberately targeting marginal seats you wanted to win? And seems he can't talk either. Oh, oh no, here he goes. The Australian people supported but you those. Failed to deliver on similar, most of the promises. And in a How similar, can the people and trust in a, you going and to the election again? Way that given you've spent the money the in this party way, did you talk to the Prime Minister about deliberately targeting coalition seats? Thanks, Johnny. Did you try to talk to the Prime Minister about deliberately targeting coalition seats? What a great interview. That's the way to hold these pork barrelling politicians to account. And bravo to Nine's Jonathan Kersley and his camo for walking backwards and not falling over. And bravo to another media star, the ABC's Joe O'Brien, for enduring those endless COVID press conferences. Actually, is that him there now? We'll t go there now. Good morning, Queensland. Uh, we've just finished our morning uh, COVID briefing. Best update I've seen for a while. But now, on your marks, get set. Like our Olympians, we go for gold. We make a gold medal run all the way to the end of this year. Shame we missed the starting gun. But, as the PM wisely added, the sooner we get there, the sooner we get there. And we're pleased to see News Corp's city tabloids are running hard with these front pages, which compare the brilliant success of our Olympians to our shocking performance on the vaccine rollout. Also going for gold is FM bad boy Kyle Sandilands, who's given all those vaccine laggers a bit of needle in this video. So just relax, lay down your tinfoil hats and just get back. So we can go back to the old ways, shaking hands, kissing strangers all day. Facts, baby. And Kyle's young newsreader, Brooklyn Ross, has also called Australia to arms with his own video message. I've had my first AstraZeneca jab now because it is unbelievably safe and it is our best option. Go and get your shot, then show someone this video and be proud you got AZ. And yes, even Jackie O has got the prick. Okay, ready? <gasps> What's in? It's done. Done, done. It's over. <laughs> done. Hooray! And yes, I've had the double dose of AstraZeneca too. But now to the billionaire and his toy rocket. Jeff Bezos has blasted off to space in his own rocket. The billionaire spent three minutes in zero gravity thanking Amazon customers upon landing for sending him out of this world. Bezos says his rocket, Blue Origin, could open up space travel for everyone. But I have to say the media were more struck by the fact that it looks like a dick. Yeah, yeah if, look, there, there's a certain... I mean, um, even the shape of the rocket. ...phallic nature to it, you could say, <laughs> definitely. And on Nine, they were thinking the same. Oh, All I can you. think about is the shape of Jeff Bezos' rocket. <laughs> yeah. I just can't look at that spaceship <clears throat> differently. It definitely looks like a willy. <laughs> <laughs> a rich dick with a dick rocket, which left Cotty and Nat underwhelmed. And when he came down, he goes, and every Amazon customer has uh, helped pay for this. Yeah. I felt like going... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Not to mention those underpaid Amazon workers. And uh, we'll be back with Media Watch, 9.15 Monday night on the ABC. Also, I view social media. Don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs>